Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, we uh, had made it to the tower, but we had lost all of our friends because two of them we had to put down like rabid dogs. And uh, this gentleman here, we've just made friends with. The guy that we did save and go through all the effort with uh, in the previous mission, we've lost him in the snow because, of course, we have. So, let's see if we can load this guy up with some ammo. We have some grenades. I don't know how much ammunition is actually here, mind. But, if we can top him off. Okay, so we can like almost top him off. And that we've got quite a lot of ammo for ourselves. Alright, buddy. Let's, uh, let's go and see if we can find out what exactly is going on here because you know everything's going to shit I think that's fair to say so we've got a nice new building I see well okay I don't think there's too much else out around here what do we have there not much okay okay Oh, hello. Well, this is a bit spicy. You know. Well, I would say that's probably the best way of dealing with that. But, you know, <laughs> once more we're feeling. Now, we don't have to explore this area out here at all, to be honest. We can just... Um, do go straight to the main building and complete our objectives in there. But, you know, when in Rome and all of that. So let's try that again, shall we? Um, let's load him up on ammo, like so. And then we shall grab okay. everything else for ourselves. And let's also switch over to the handgun. Just because the handgun... Seems to be, uh, you know, basically all you need for the little gremlin bastards. And if that's all we need, that is all we shall use. You know, actually, I reckon I know the best, most efficient way of sorting these guys out. I reckon we're going to open the door, pop one of those in there. Step back and enjoy the fireworks. I didn't realize that red barrel was there. Now, is this area sanitized? I think we sanitized the area. Ooh. Okay. Area sanitized. Happy with that. Although, there wasn't actually anything in there worth... Bothering with, to be honest. That door is locked, which is fine. I mean, it's not really that fine, because it would have been nice to have a little dig around inside. But maybe that door is also locked. Son of a... Okay. Yeah, this area looks fine. All right, well, we've checked the outhouse. There's nothing in there. Let's go into the main attraction shall we say and see if we can't find some monsters to blow up okay let's have a look there's so many doors here it's kind of crazy nope all right so the only thing we really have out here is the ah the tower all right let's get you sorted oh evening Better watch our new friend's ass. Just in case. Although, we have given him pretty much like every round of ammo that we have. Cool. Now, let's head inside. Well, it doesn't look like this place has fared any better than anywhere else, I suppose. Ooh. Yep, I guess we do. But we also have a radio. So hopefully, we can raise somebody. 
I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath. Hey, look. Maybe we are going to die here. Maybe we're not. Let's uh, try not to be too much of a negative Nancy. Okay, let's... Right. Yep. I'll handle the company. You handle the box. Does that sound like a deal? Dude? The, the, the box? Dude? You, God damn it. Okay. Yeah, sometimes these guys really do okay. suck at taking orders. Uh, you have to give them direct orders. Because the X button is supposed to be like a context-sensitive um, way of giving orders and whatever you need to do. But it, it doesn't seem to work very well. No matter. Let's come up here. What have you got for me, sir? Ooh. Oh, well, hello. What are you up to? Have a little bit of a wander outside. I see how it is. Bit naughty. Looks like our friend has stopped following us again. They also have a habit of doing that. Uh, not really sure why, but we're not going to worry too much about it. I think when you give them an order to do something, that's when they kind of stop following you. Oof, this place is toast. Is it human? What? Me or the, the dead body? The dead body, I don't know. Lost contact with the Medicenter today. We sent a team up to investigate but then lost contact with them in the storm. They were due to check in over five hours ago, but there's no way I'm going to send anybody else out there in this weather. Oof, okay. Oh. So we get the stun gun. Capable of administering a 5,000 volt charge, the stun gun will temporarily disable a target and cause them to drop their weapon. Great as an alternative to killing potential squad members who is behaving in a hostile manner. Be warned, using the stun gun on a squad member will cause them to lose some trust in you. Yep, but it's also a non-lethal way of getting them under control. But dude, you and your bad feelings. And he's barfing in the cutscene. Brilliant. Stay the hell away from me. I'm warning you. Williams, I need your help. Bullshit. You're infected just like the rest. Come any closer and I'll fry your ass. Listen, I found Pace. I just need to get into the comm room to call for assistance. Do you have access? Yeah, I've got access. But I ain't going nowhere with all those things out there. You kill them and I'll help get us out of here. Hmm. Okay. So to prove our loyalty to him, we've got to go kill some monsters. We've got some walkers. We don't know what walkers are, but I'm sure we're about to find out. Probably something uh, resembling that fella that was walking around outside. Oh. Yeah, we're fine. we got these little bastards. Man. This area is hostile. So, the flamethrower. Don't attempt to take on any self-repairing alien entity without the ability to cook them. Flame weaponry is the only way to kill large enemies. When, the, when attacking a target, be sure to administer enough fuel to ignite them. But beware that the environment and squad members could become part of the barbecue. The flamethrower can also be used to lay down firewalls that can be used to pen enemy targets. Yep. Um, flamethrower is an interesting device. Uh, it has, it, it's the only weapon that can kill these guys. Uh, you can knock them down to dead red health, but they still attack. And yeah, they're, they're lethal. Um, the only way to kill them is with the flamethrower. However, you spend a lot of time killing yourself with the flamethrower as well. Because it's kind of freaking lethal. Oh, hello. Now, from what I, I can remember, the actual fuel for it does last a decent time. Now, the problem with the flamethrower fuel, 
at least how I understand it, if you if you have a friend that's got a flamethrower and you choose to give him some extra ammo, you will give them all of your flamethrower fuel. And we've also got a... Oh, hello. Which is kind of problematic. Yeah, there's no way to give them, at least as far as I'm aware, there's no way to give them like a half measure of fuel or something. You've just got to give them the whole bloody lot. Evening, Squire. Oh, hello. Come to join us. Evening. Now, these guys, their AI is interesting. Up. Oh. Back off. Right, he's already on dead red health, so I'm not going to use my flamethrower. I'm going to use my blowtorch. Notice how they stay away from fire in quite an intelligent manner, actually. He's, he's just going to chill there, wait for the fire to go out. And unfortunately, there we go. That's him fucked, basically. We cooked his goose, well and truly. But we also uh, have done our best to... Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. That's not good. You can see how we pen the enemies in there. Right, we desperately need a med kit. Use on self, there we go. Hey, friendo. Notice how he actually tried to get in and around behind us. The enemies in this game are really intelligent. And uh, I'm a fan. I like it. They're way smarter than you would think. Uh-oh. Let's lay down some fire. Block these guys in. Whilst our friend there cleans house. You're doing a good job there, Pace. Uh, I forgot your name there for a second. You're one of the good ones, my friend. So, what have we got going on in here? Interesting. Got some good stuff. Uh-oh. Pace, you, you might want to look alive here, mate. All right, let's try and... Ooh. I don't know what exactly he's doing. Pace, do you wanna do you wanna come out here and help me with this, or, or you want me to do it? Okay. Oh, he's already on like dead red health. Excellent. Now, although we have the taser, it is unfortunately empty. Now, when these guys do die, as you can see, they will deploy the little bastards straight up, which is something to keep your your eye on. Okay. That is acceptable. We got, some got some more hypos. Ooh. He's on it. Pace is on it. You could say he's keeping pace with the enemies. <laughs> is it human? I don't know. Shoot it anyway. Excellent. You're, ooh. Ooh. You're doing a bang-up job. Sorry, buddy. Oh, he's freaking out. He is freaking out. That's fine. He's allowed to freak out. It's acceptable. It is cool the way they just, like, stand there, all creepy-like. All right. He's actually actively trying to get away from me as well. But that's cool. We can just stand here and blast away with our pistol try and get him down to dead red health. I don't know what that whole splitting his face in half is about. Ooh, right. Yeah, he wants some more of this. He wants some more. Yeah, you go hide in your little box, mate. I'm just going to burn you to death. Now, we have a slight problem of the health variety. We can just use this med kit. All right. So if we come over here somewhere, there is a rather tasty item. There it is. 
And this is the first instance of the shotgun. The shotgun is a meaty, girthy boy. And it's going to be our weapon of choice for yeah, a good portion of the game. Of course, it does take its own unique ammo because it's a, a shotgun. But that's fine. Right, we've killed all the dudes. Let's go see our friend. Hopefully we can calm him down a little bit. You know, because we've basically pacified the area. We can go back outside here, which is curious. I don't really think there's much point, mind you. Nah, I, d I don't think there's much out here, to be honest. Okay, back inside. Just keep our shotgun handy. Just in case. We don't have many shells for it yet, but we will. Well, the area is secure now. I need your help. If we're going to make it out of here alive, you've got to get me in the comm room now. Yes, sir. Follow me, Captain. Maybe you will get us out of this. Yeah, maybe. Now, um... There's nothing else around, is there? No. I think we're pretty safe to leave now. Let's get to that comm room. Oh, we're gonna die here. Look, stop being a negative, Nancy. Yeah, well, cheers, pal. Stop looking at all the stiffs on the floor, okay? You don't need to look at them. All right, let's get that power terminal repaired if you can go and fix okay. that couldn't you couldn't do it why could you not do it yes, sure you can do it that is what you're paid for honestly yeah I have my concerns about these guys they don't necessarily seem to be the most um, qualified people but, you know, I understand these are very trying times. Let's just say that. Damn it. Trashed the radio. Yeah, let me get some more shotgun shells here. Lovely. Oh, my. Evening. We, got some here. we do. And this shotgun is just monstrous. So he's dead red. That's some good flaming, Williams. Unfortunately, Williams, get back. There we go. Ooh. Come on, Williams. There you go. You're cooking him now. Burn, you sack. There we go. One's down. Ooh, Williams. That thing is hot. Okay. You be careful with that bloody thing. Come out here, you bastard. It's it's kind of interesting, I think, how everybody, I don't know what that symbol okay. means, how everybody, um, oh god, seems to fire these weapons one-handed, or at least should I say we do. Everybody else seems to know what they're roughly doing. But we are actually holding and firing the shotgun one-handed as well as every other weapon. Which raises concerns. Anyway, let's get out of here. We find ourselves in another habitat. Hmm. I don't know about this place. This place looks iffy. Well, there's an MP5 there. Right, how's everyone doing? Williams is okay. Pace is okay. Ammo supplies are questionable. Right, you guys. I want to give you some ammo. Top you off. Um, oh no. Yeah, everybody follow. And you, friend. Yeah, see, if I offer him ammo, 
Oh, okay. So it gives it in increments. All right, let's top his flamethrower off a bit because he's kind of useful having that thing, to be honest. And let's explore this place. Whoa. We got a live one. Right, let's... Oh, yeah. Please, please stop. Please stop setting fires everywhere. So, what's worth noting here is we've got these new things. Whoa! Maybe giving some jackass a flamethrower wasn't the best tactical decision I've ever made. Bloody hell. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Jesus. Right, get that repaired. I'll do it myself. So that opens up another room. Sweet. Cool. And that's some serious dead shit right there. Yep. Pretty much. So, Williams, with the flamethrower, uh, I will actually patch you up. Because if the medic goes down, we're going to have a bad time. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Now, next room. Oh, this room's got a save. Doodad in it. Very handy. We're just going to save anywhere. Less chance of making a critical error then, I think. Right, flamethrower fuel. More flamethrower fuel. And I believe over here there's actually... Yeah, there's another flamethrower there. But uh, we're doing okay for fuel. Cool. Right. Well, there's nothing there. Oh, boy. Yep. It's time to defend the base. All right, you apes. You want to live forever? There we go. Keep going. Beautiful. Like shooting clay pigeons or something. You all right back there, boys? You good? Jeez. Oh, hello. Yeah, the way they move, they, they really are like head crabs. Kind of curious. All right, boys. I, th I think we held the line. I'm suddenly not so convinced that we're that safe here, to be honest. But that's okay. Oh, we're in the sleeping quarters. Oh. Well, I wouldn't want to sleep here. I'm just saying. Now, next room. Come on. Now, this is the armory. And man, this place is armoried up. We've got just about everything you could ever want here. Right, let's check everybody's weapons and ammo. You're plenty. You're, you're both plenty. Cool. And there's another shotgun as well. But we'll hold on to that for now. Plenty of med kits. Cool. Hmm. We should have... Oh, what is that there? Oh, it's another MP5. We should have another instance of enemies charging us. So. Maybe there's like one enemy hiding here somewhere. What is in there? I guess nothing. Okay. We did pull the switch. Just notice that we've got inverted look on. That's not fantastic. Hmm. Alright, boys. Looks like we're actually... Kind of winning. We should be fighting off more waves of enemies. And that's the radio that we were hoping to use, which has obviously been stolen and pilfered by some oiky little bastard, which doesn't really help us much. Um, ah. 
another door. Did we push all the buttons in this room? Radio room access. That just shuts the door, I believe. Yep. I'm not sure why there's such heavy-duty handles to uh, sort that out, but yeah, whatever, I guess. Right, I'm starting to think, guys, that it's actually bugged out because we should be fighting more waves of enemies here. We got ah, here we go. Just took a while. Right. Let's do this. Now, if only we had an OP tower. That would be nice. Get someone up in a sniper tower. With some kind of heavy machine gun. Right, you, you just look after that side, boys. Me and my shotgun should be able to lock this down. I do love it when they jump into your shotgun. And you can just blast them into chunks. It is beyond satisfying. Good night. You ugly sacks of shit. Yeah, we're not done yet. We, got company. we do. Oh! Coming from the other window now. Keep it up, boys. You know, or at least just feel free to do anything, really. I'll accept doing anything rather than nothing as a win. Here they come. Now, grenades might be useful here, but um, uh, I don't know. Grenades and me in this game seem to have a bad time, I'll be honest. Whereas the shotgun, well, the shotgun does what it says on the tin. Guys, if you could avoid burning each other to death, that would be amazing. All right. Good man. I don't ask you guys for much. All right. Just don't kill each other. Now, it looks like they cut. Yep, they here they come. Oh, boy. Oof. Now, I guess what we could do, though well, I'm not sure how viable it would be, is lay down some fire there for them to jump into. This seems like it's actually an atrociously poor idea, but eh, let's switch up to the pistol. The pistol is kind of underrated against these guys. Oh, God. How are you going? Everyone's safe? Everyone's safe. Cool. Everyone's everyone's getting a little bit stressed. We're all a little bit stressed. That's fine. Given the situation. It's understandable to be stressed. Guys. You must find your inner peace. Center your chi. Okay? And just focus on the task at hand. Which is killing everything in this room. At least everything that's alien, anyway. My god. Look at them. Like flies on shit. How we doing, men? We good? Right. Everybody follow. Pace. How are you doing, ammo-wise? Slow drop with some more mags. Williams, you good? How you know, I might hand out some med kits. There we go. Let's hand out some med kits. Ah, at least somebody's giving me a med kit. Aren't you a good man? Good little sausage. As we clean up with the shotgun. Man, this place is crawling. All right, we're fine. Uh oh. Oh, hello. The hell are these? I mean, they kind of look like walkers, but different. Whoa, whoa, guys. Liberal use of flame, please. I uh, don't know why the signal keeps dropping out, guys. Oh, God. Can somebody take care of him? Thank you. Jesus. I mean, honestly. Right. 
I would appreciate some healing. Who's the medic here? This mission is All right, you Cheers, buddy. Pansy? We got some company. We've got more. Oh, we have got more company. Right, you rancid sack of shit. Let's get you sorted. Come on. Now, the trouble is, because um, our boy here likes to aim the flamethrower at the floor, when using it, you, you do run the risk of walking into it, which is not great. But it is what it is. Right, everything loaded up. Cool, we've got everything we need. Nice. Now, let's head outside in this nice little hole he's made. Come on, you little dickwad. Come on. Come on. Ah, he's just fucked off into the distance. Ooh, who is that? Curious. Let's get out of here, I guess. <laughs> We're not going to clean up our mess. We're just going to run away instead of burning all of these bastards, which is what we should have done. Okay. Right, so back onto the n another level. At least I've got my friends with me. Which is good. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> um, right, what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to leave this level here. Well, leave this video here, I should say. And uh, when we come back, we're going to hopefully try and investigate and find out who this mysterious running man is. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.